I'm incredibly fortunate to go out on oceanographic voyages and see environments that nobody's ever seen before. One unique environment that we're studying in the deep ocean now are these places called hydrothermal vents. So though they appear to be very toxic and very harsh environments, these are heated and chemically enriched hot springs on the seafloor. Bacteria that grow there can sustain life in incredible abundances, independently of the sun's energy. What we don't know is how recently these animals have adapted to live on hydrothermal vents. We know that hydrothermal vents have been around on our planet for at least 4 billion years and the oldest fossils from hydrothermal vents that we know about are 440 million years old. So there's a really long history of animal occupation of these environments. Working with my colleague Maggie, we realised we had an amazing opportunity to perhaps compare the animals living at hydrothermal vents now with ancient fossil animals. So when some of the initial discoveries were made of animals at vents, it suggested that perhaps hydrothermal vents have acted as refuges for certain animals over hundreds of millions of years. But actually, when I compare these fossil and modern specimens, we are finding that the modern hydrothermal vent animals have more recent origins. Perhaps vents aren't such a difficult environment for animals to adapt to. So this is a tremendously important discovery. We have started now to realise that hydrothermal vent animals have been able to evolve and adapt to the hydrothermal vent system quite rapidly and many times over the world's oceans. These hydrothermal vents have acted as a sort of evolutionary pump, continuously driving the novel evolution of animals at these systems. The adaptations that we find within hydrothermal vent environments are quite unique, so it might be argued that hydrothermal vent communities are worth preserving because of their evolutionary novelty. So really it's become ever more important to understand adaptation of life in these unique environments to get to the bottom of how life is continuously adapting to environmental changes on our planet today.